And our last piece of um, information for today, or the, of the lesson today, is all about the Pythagorean Theorem, which you've been doing since you were probably knee-high to a grasshopper, so it's not going to be a whole lot of new stuff here. But I do want to emphasize a couple of things. I want to talk about some special right triangles, which are called Pythagorean triples. And I also want to talk about um, the formula a squared plus b squared is equals c squared, if that's the best way to remember it. And then where this terminology squared comes from. It's because if you take the length of the side and you make a square, you get that area. And that's why we call it squared. So a squared, which in this case had nine blocks, b squared, which had 16 blocks, is going to equal the c squared, which is 25 blocks. So in general, most people know the Pythagorean theorem as a squared plus b squared is c squared. And the hypotenuse must be c. But I got to tell you something. Um, there's two tricks with dealing with the Pythagorean theorem if you ever teach it to students in a classroom that I think will go a long way to helping students. Is first off, if you put in a right angle here at the right angle place, okay, and then you draw a, that, an arrow across to the hypotenuse, that'll remind them of what the hypotenuse is. I found that that was very helpful, even though I didn't ever think to do it. I had someone recommend it to me, and they were correct. The next one is, I don't like to say a squared plus b squared is c squared, because students get locked in on that. And then one year, the state of New York gave a, a test, I forget if it was a grade level test or a regents test, where they put the c on one of the legs, and like 98% of the students in the state got it wrong. Um, mine did get it correct. They got it correct because I didn't teach a squared plus b squared is c squared, I taught. I would mention it, and I did say what it was, but I like to teach leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. Um, it's the same thing, and if they force us to go A, B, and C, I always told the kids, make sure that um, your hypotenuse is C, but if you looked at their papers, they always wrote leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared, and it really saved them on that question. Just want to emphasize how you can tell the parts. Here's your 90 degree angle in a right triangle, and the two legs make up the 90 degree angle. In both diagrams, the two legs make up the 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse you will find is always located directly across from the right angle. So that's how you tell the pieces of the sides. Okay, so let's use the Pythagorean theorem here to find C. Go ahead. So in this, the most fundamental of all Pythagorean theorem questions leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. Remember the two legs make up the right angle. So three squared plus four squared is C squared. Nine plus 16 is C squared. And since they're on the same side, we'll do the same operation, combine those terms. 25 is C squared. Square root of 25, or square root of both sides. Square root of 25 is C. So five equals C. Okay. Let's try the next one. Go ahead. So again, leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. So the two legs that make up the right angle are six and eight. So six squared plus eight squared is, I left it C for the hypotenuse. It really technically should be X. So 36 and 64 is C squared. 100 is C squared, square root both sides. C is the square root of 100, which is 10. So notice we had three, four, five. Now we have six, eight, 10. Let's try another one downed tree. Go ahead, find this. This is pretty funny because I cut down about 12 trees oh, over the last two days and chopped them all up for firewood for a neighbor. Um, I planted a bunch of gardens. I want some more light to get in, so I needed to take some trees down, tall skinny poplars for the most part. Um, so I have been working with trees like crazy the last two days. Now, there's a little bit of a thing going on here now in this problem because this time the X is not in the place of the hypotenuse. And that really emphasizes the need to make sure that we write leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. If you choose a squared plus b squared plus equals c squared, that's fine. Always remember c is the hypotenuse. It's not a matter of number squared plus number squared equals letter squared. And sometimes students start thinking that that's not the case. The correct equation here is that 12 squared, the leg over here, plus x squared, the leg over here, 
is equal to the hypotenuse, which is the fallen tree part, 20 squared there. So 144 plus x squared is 400. Subtracting 144 from both sides, I get x squared is 256. Then square rooting both sides, and I get x is 16. Okay. So if you notice, you start thinking, wow, every time he gives us one, it always works out for whole numbers. Well, life is not like that. There are certain special right triangles that do work out, but most don't. The first one is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And any multiples thereof. So 3, 4, 5 times 2 is 6, 8, 10. Times 3 is 9, 12, 15. You could have a 30, 40, 50 or a 300, 400, 500 right triangle. 3, 4, 5 is your base, and then you can multiply it by any ones. And we can use this Pythagorean theorem to test to see, hey, is this really a right triangle? We can do that by saying, well, what we think are the legs and the hypotenuse, let's do the square of the legs and see if the sum is equal to the hypotenuse, like we do here. 5, 12, 13 does work, right? Because 5 squared and 12 squared add up to 25 and 144 does equal 13 squared to 169. So 5, 12, 13 is another Pythagorean triple. 9, 40, 41 works. You can test it out, right? 36 plus four, uh, 16, uh, pardon me, 81 plus 1600 is 1681, which is what 41 squared is. In fact, here's a list of your Pythagorean triples here. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 40, 41, 11, 60, 61, 12, 35, 37. There's infinitely more. Which ones do you often see? The top two rows only. Sometimes you see the others. But here's the thing. You can always just use your calculator. You don't have to have them memorized. It's just that memorizing works quick. Like if you see the two legs are three and four, oh, well, the hypotenuse is five. As long as it's a right triangle, only works when it's in a right triangle, okay? When the triangle sides are Pythagorean triple, it's a right triangle. Must be in a right triangle. Okay, um, and don't forget the multiples of all of these things work. For example, 6, 8, 10. For this one, I can multiply this by 3, 15, 36, 39. For 8, 15, 17, I can multiply by 2 and get 16, 30, 34. So any multiple of them also works. So this might be one that you want to take a picture of. It will save you a little bit of time, but you can get the answers without ever having these memorized. Okay, go ahead, give it a shot. We're trying to find the length of C, which is the hypotenuse. Okay, so here's an example done with A squared plus B squared is C squared, remembering that C is the hypotenuse. So I get 8 squared plus 7 squared C squared. 64 and 49 is C squared. So C squared is 113. And notice this time, it's not a Pythagorean triple. That's why only certain numbers work for the Pythagorean triple. What makes them special? So C is equal to the square root of 113. And you might see it on a test where they leave it in radical form like that. They might say, leave your answer in radical form. Or... They might ask you to round it to the nearest tenth, and then you just put it in the calculator and see what it says. In this case, it would be uh, probably around 10.6. Okay, find y. Go ahead. Okay, so... Leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. 8 squared plus y squared is equal to 12 squared. 64 and y squared is 144. Sorry about the phone. Call Sub from. Subtracting the 64, y squared is 80. And when I square root, I get y equals the square root of 80. If you wanted to round that to the nearest hundredth, it'd be 8.94. Okay, so a little summary of the Pythagorean theorem work. The Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared is c squared, but you must always remember c is the hypotenuse, or leg squared plus leg squared is the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. 
You don't have to memorize Pythagorean triples, but if you do, it saves you a little bit of time. All right. Have a great one. Hasta la bye-bye.